What is up YouTube family? Welcome back to my channel. What am I doing with my hands? What's up guys, how's it going? So right now, we're gonna be starting this vlog off in the office once again. Just got done doing a little bit of editing over for premium auto styling. And today we're gonna do something a little different. We're not going to be working on my car. I'm not gonna be talking to you about building a race car. Today we get to meet one of you guys, which is going to be the YouTube fam. Someone that's been subscribed to me for a long time and has been saving his money actually for me to film a video of his car. And I think this is gonna be so dope. I'm gonna take advantage of hanging out with him. He's, he always told me, he says, in the emails he's a really big fan and I think this is so dope this is amazing I love me the YouTube fam I love hanging out with you guys learning about you guys and seeing your guys' car so today it's gonna happen so right now it is it's 3 36 right now he's supposed to be here at, or be leaving at 4 o'clock he's coming up to Riverside and where I'm gonna take you with the full experience of meeting him film his car talk to him know why he follows my channel learn what you know he's doing to his car he's already done to his car we just get to learn about him and I think it's gonna be dope I'm gonna wait and let him introduce himself I just want to turn this camera on and start the vlog. We are starting this vlog a little late, but it's because I want to dedicate this to one of the YouTube fans because without you guys, I wouldn't be making these videos. All right, so I'll turn the camera on when he gets here and let's have some fun today. Before the train comes, shout out to this guy. He's my driver for get the rollers and the premium truck. The train's here. Hold on. Thank you. Every time I want to vlog, this thing passes by like a hundred times a day, but here he is. Look, if you guys remember, I used to have those rims, the RSRs. Hopefully you can hear me clear. g 7 x does not have any type of microphone input, so we're just using the camera. I'm assuming that's his brother. What's up, brother, man? How's it going? Good. Getting the car ready for a video? Yeah, man, it looks clean, bro. It looks cleaner than mine does right now. Got the APR front end. Looks like it got a little bit of damage. Did you hit something? I was coming on the freeway. And I guess I was going too fast, and the front lip just went down. And it just started scratching it all up. But it made it here. It's all that matters. <laughs> it's drivable. Hell yeah. Slow SS. There's his Instagram right there. Slow SS. Go give him a follow. Part of the YouTube fam. I knew Mr. One Low SS was familiar. I remember, if you guys remember too, it was, do you remember what car meet it was? Yeah. It was, which, which one was it? Uh, SoCal. SoCal's opener? Wait, wait, wait. You just hand this right now. Let's see. Show me. Show me. Just show me. Don't be shy. It's all right, man. It's cool. Here, show the fan back over so you get some good lighting. So what do you do? One, one good. Uh, my brother's, uh, my brother's Instagram? Yeah. Oh, so one, one slow SS? Yeah. All right, that's dope. So I'm chilling talking to Mike right now, filming. He comes up to me, hands me his shirt. And that's what so do you guys make these yourself? Um, yeah, we do. You support your, your brother? Yeah. That's dope, man. What's your name? Um, Omar. Omar, nice to meet you. All right, thanks for your shirt, brother. Appreciate it. Hey, where's your boot bags? Over there? Um, yeah, so there's um, a bag Camaro that's hold, like a Batman holding the hood. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'm going to check it out, man. Appreciate the shirt. Tell everybody I said thank you. It was last year? Like last, last year? Dang! All right, so I remember, guys. So I put actually he's been in the channel thing because I put him on when he gave him the shirt. I got the uh, one slow SS shirt from them. That's so dope. I didn't even know it was you guys. Shout out to this guy. Hook me on the shirt. Shout out to the older brother. All right, so that, around here by Premium Auto Styling, there's some orchards. I've been wanting to shoot there. I seen John shoot there before, and it looks really nice. So my boy Adrian's about to give me a ride over there, and uh, I'll be doing rollers. Now, the hardest thing it is to film myself and vlog while I'm filming because I have to focus on him because. I mean, obviously we're charging him for something like this, but I'm gonna try to have Adrian kind of film as much as he can. He's doing me a big favor. He needs to pick up his son a little bit. So we have to make this part snappy because we're losing light really fast, but this is the golden hour to film. Looking pretty. All right guys, so this is location number one. I figured it'd be perfect. Got a whole bunch of oranges and look how long that strip is. Cause I'm done cleaning up your mess. Found myself in my room.
All right, guys, so you got to see a little bit behind the scenes of me filming. He did show up a little bit late, and when you see right now, we lost the sun, and the cannon does horrible in low light, but I'm still going to find out about his build and hang out with him for a little bit. All right, shout out to my boy, Adrian, once again, and we got the same sponsor. You got the Clutch Wheels. Yo, we'll plug your Instagram. Appreciate you helping me out. Uh, Instagram is eco, E-C-O underscore bash. If you're cute, slide in the DMs. And yeah. He's talking about boys too. Yeah, cute guys. Yeah. Cute what guys do you drive? Let me know what you drive real quick. You got a little review on this car because I see you got a little monkey. You know, I got monkey bars there. I see what you got. I got kids, so you know, I had to put the playground in the back. A little jungle gym for him. I like that response. Yeah, the 2015 PSST. Shit. All my sponsors. Uh, Fury Motoring for Rubber Fenders, Clutch for the Wheels, ST Suspensions, Coilovers, Auto Power for the Roll Case, Sparkle for the Seat, Engine for all my bolt ons. Uh, DaVinci Performance for the crash bar. Shoot, Status helped me with the install for the over fenders. Damn, save some for the full, for the full vlog, jeez. Yeah. All right, but plug your Instagram real quick. Yeah, One more once time. again, Eco Bash, E-C-O underscore B-A-S-H. All right, if you guys want to check this bad boy out on Instagram, go give him a follow. If you guys don't want to type it out, well, you still type it out, but there it is, Eco Bash. All right, brother, thank you again. Thanks for driving, man. All right, back to my boy right here with the lit in the lift that works too yo what's up so we gotta talk about your car though obviously he ran out of sunlight right now my boy was a little late he came up the riverside from orange county and everyone knows if you know orange county traffic you don't want to be driving from like four to six or even seven sometimes but we're still gonna make a good time of this and i'm gonna learn about his build and uh tell me why he got in the cars and just kind of you know what i mean learn a little bit about you it's super dope so shout out you know what i mean for coming out here getting a video and being part of the youtube fam which is really really dope all right so let me know what you drive oh yeah. All right, guys, like I said, every time I'm trying to film, this freaking train comes by. So, we're going to have to wait. I drive a 2012 Camaro SS. All right, so uh, tell me three things that you love about this car right now. The wheels, the side skirts, actually. I just put them on, and I really like how they look, and the murdered out look that it has. The theme Batman, so you know you gotta have murdered out look. Hard. Yeah, and I think you killed it with being murdered out. I mean, like literally, like it's black on black on black, and I really like that lift, like that lift sign right there because yeah. I mean it lights up purple and it stands out and it's kind of dope. You know what I mean? But uh, tell me three things you can't stand about this car. Blind spots. <laughs> really? Blind spots are, yeah, I hate the blind spots. Uh, man, the lip. I can never keep a good lip. I'm always messing them up because the car's low. Looks I'm like someone has to go to the MFR, yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> I actually did talk to them, but um, when I was going to go do it, I got in a car accident with the car. So I couldn't do it because I had to pay for it. That's what happened when we were first supposed to film, right? We were supposed to film like two it months was, ago? Uh, it was actually like in August. All right, in August, and you got in a car accident. What happened? Like, uh, I mean, because I, I know like, it was like a, the day we're supposed to film or like the week we're supposed to week, film. Yeah. So what happened? Let me know what happened. Um, I was going to OC Fair actually, and. Going on a date, huh? Traffic just like completely stopped, and the guy just re ended me. That's the worst. I messed up my whole bumper and I had to put it out of my pocket because the guy just took off. If you're watching out here, you're a scumbag. And if you are watching, unsubscribe to me because that's horrible. I guess that's, yeah. not, that's not cool. So you know, I think you're on two. What was the last thing you can't stand about this car? Uh, or is it like can't stand? Oh, yeah, I can't, can't stand about the car. To be honest, not anything else. I Nothing else? Car, yeah. that's, that's, that's pretty dope pretty because I can tell you a lot of things I can't stand about my camera <laughs> right now. No, but so, so you have any motor work or anything like that? Um, just simple bolt-ons. Simple bolt-ons? Yeah. Nothing crazy. And what about uh, our side, the rims? And then what kind of bolt-ons do you have, actually? It's probably good to look for this guy. Colder intake. I have mid-pipes, JBA mid-pipes. Um, is it JBA, JBA. Uh, performance or something like that? I think it is. That's crazy because you know who contacted me today for a video tomorrow? JBA. Really? They're going to do a video on a Mustang that they're reviewing. So that'll be on tomorrow's vlog, actually. Uh, they want me to film, like, I think they did headers and stuff like that. So that's pretty dope. Yeah. You, I mean, that's, that's kind of, I don't know. I just, I don't know why that's, I'm probably talking too much anyways. So uh, <laughs> any other bolt-ons? I have a jet mass airflow sensor, which actually did make a difference. I didn't think it yeah. was, but it did. Yeah, I talked about that a little bit on um, when I was doing the build for the NA. I don't know if you saw those videos, yeah. but um, yeah, we talked about, you know, the airflow sensor, how much even being slightly moved will, will actually mess up, you know, the reading of your ECU, which will take away from horsepower. Yeah. And so you know that by just changing out the ECU, I mean, not the ECU, just by changing out the map sensor, you actually probably felt a little bit, and it probably wasn't, you didn't feel more, I mean, it didn't give more air into your system, but you probably felt that it was more readable. Yeah. I mean, I feel like my throttle response a lot better, all oh, because yeah. of getting, you know, I mean, a better one, a better map sensor. What got me into cars, I just love cars. I love working on them. I actually went to school for it, but money-wise, I had to drop out, so I didn't finish it, but I was working for a, a shop. Um, 
boss performance and we just did a lot of performance stuff and actually made me love more cars even more because I actually got touch the cars and actually like move the cars around and and learn that it's not all about a supercharger and turbo it's little bolts on that you have to build up to be able to get to that hey you're learning but hey you learn, you're smarter than me but yeah. <laughs> so why the camaro though what, what what made you fall in love with this thing um actually i used to be a really mustang lover i used to be a mustang to a death lover but um it was actually my dad's car but when he passed away um nobody knows how to drive stick besides me so i kept the car and i fell in love with the car the car is amazing, it rides awesome, it has power, and the car is amazing. That, that's dope. So what are your plans with this? I mean, you said you, I didn't even know your dad passed, so I'm sorry to hear that, man. What uh, what are your plans with this car? I mean, obviously you're going to keep it, yeah. but I mean, what are your plans with this thing? Full, full bolt on NA, and possibly, I was talking to Vortec, and they were possibly sponsoring me with the supercharger. But at first I want to do all the supporting mods on it so I don't snap anything else. There you go, like push rods, yeah. lifters, rockers, like basically the full build I have yeah. but for low compression for boost. Yeah, That's awesome. That. And customization wise, I think I'm pretty much done. I like the way it looks. Just get a new lip apparently because that one's messed up already. Yeah. But we, we need to contact you with MF Farm and we show Mike to give you some love, man. Yeah. That and I was actually looking into that diffuser. I love that diffuser right there. That thing, yeah. I love my diffuser. Definitely, you could get it. Go ahead, go get one. Yeah. The YouTube fam can have anything off this car. I was, I didn't know that his dad passed away and this was his car, but that just goes to show, uh, out of all the times like I say, like why I don't hate on people's car and why I don't bash on people's car. If I was a Mustang owner, I, I don't bash on a Camaro. If I'm a Camaro owner, I don't bash on a uh, Mustang because of that. Like, if you know what I mean, if, if someone were to bash on the car that I had and it was my dad's who passed away, like, we're fighting, 100%. <laughs> and that's why a lot of people ask, like, why do I say I like JDM and American Bustle? You can't like both. I've got a lot of those comments. That's the reason why right here. Because how dare I bash on someone that was given or, or, or passed down to someone who, whose father passed away. That's crazy. I didn't know he passed away. I hope this build is amazing. And whatever you need help, as in if you need, you know, some parts and if I have a sponsor who's willing to help out, I'll definitely help out this build because... That's dope. That means this car is so much more valuable. You can't pay for this car. Actually, that's, that's really the dope. The theme is on him. He used to love Batman. All like he had the whole series of Batman. Really? And that's why I chose that theme. See, that's dope right there. So that's amazing right there. I'm glad that you talked about that, and I'm glad that you know. What I mean, I got to meet up and hang out with you once again, brother. Uh, shout out your Instagram. Uh, one slow SS. That is so dope, having a stat, like, dope of a story. And I don't mean dope like that's cool as father passed away. I mean dope as in having a meaningful build behind it, not just wanting to have the fastest car or the coolest car, but having an actual build behind it and, a, like, the motivation behind it. I didn't mean to ask him what the motivation was behind that build because I know what that motivation was. That's dope. It was a pleasure meeting him. Had a great time. Oh, God, though. I like these things. I would buy one for a daily driver. All right, guys, and a little update on my car. I'm pretty sure you guys wondered why my car wasn't in this video except for those little clips. Um, we were supposed to do the hood a couple days ago, and then yesterday, and then today. But things have been getting really busy, and you gotta remember they're helping me out and doing big favors, so I can't really rush it. We got a couple cars I need to get out of here, but hopefully soon this week it will be done. Obviously, it's gonna be done before Vegas. And then, um, not sure whenever it comes in, but whenever I get my coolant overflow tank, uh, I'm gonna be installing that. That's gonna need to be installed before we take it over to Tad and get a complete dyno. Um, the plan is to get a dyno before we go to Vegas. If I don't get the dyno before Vegas, I'm gonna trailer my car up there to Vegas. I keep bringing it up because I really want you guys to comment down below. If you live in Vegas, let me know. I want to meet with you guys. We're supposed to be doing a meet and greet, but I'm not sure how that's gonna go, but I keep you guys updated like I said. Um, so all we're missing now is a coolant overflow, overflow and the tune, and that's pretty much it. I'm working on getting a tire sponsor right now, so I actually came up with a full proposal, and I'll be sending them out to a couple of people in the next couple of days. I'll let you guys know if I get a response back. Hopefully I do, fingers crossed that we do get a tire sponsor, because that's gonna be the number one thing that I'm gonna need. I can do oil changes myself and all that stuff, but the tires are gonna be the most expensive thing for having a track car, because obviously you guys know you can go through a track, I mean a set of tires in one track day, obviously, that could become expensive, especially come in my own pocket, but I have to do it, I'm gonna do it no matter what. Yeah. <laughs> wow, what'd you say? I don't even work here. What? Wow. What the fuck what? is going on with these guys? Wow. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs>
Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Super dope. If any of my YouTube fam out there lives close to the LA, um, Orange County area, and you want to get on the channel, and you want to talk about your car and your build, you have something cool, please let me know. Comment down below. Send me DM. Uh, I always reply, reply back, and thank you guys so much for the support. I'll see you guys tomorrow, where hopefully we'll be putting the hood on the car, and uh, talk about a couple more things that are going to be coming up to the build, and preparing for the Vegas trip, and the track day. The first track day, the first shakedown, it's going to be good, guys. See you guys tomorrow. Have a good night.